Yes, family, another beautiful day here in Ghana. And this is Trinity Home Academy. And family, I've been coming here from 2007, 16 years, coming to Trinity Foundation. Greetings, sister. Greetings, how are you? Good day. Yes, this is you know, a, a wonderful sister from a year ago. That was a, that magical journey that we did uh, May of 2022. So yes, family, you know, create the energy and just keep coming back, keep connecting. And right now we're here showing some love to Trinity Home Academy. And my 16 year visiting this wonderful school. So, so some of the children have grown you know, by now from the last 16 years. You know, beautiful spaces, beautiful energy. Love, love, the, uh, love the uniform. <laughs> and let's uh, squeeze by and we're going to check out some of the classrooms. Look, beautiful energy, beautiful smiles. Smile your face. And family, I've seen this, I've seen this compound, this space right here when there was nothing here. And most of what I see in Ghana is based on nothing was there one time and then over the years it was built. So all these buildings have been built over a period of time. So when we're traveling and we're making donations and um, <laughs> and things like that, it all adds up. I remember one year we came to and we raised about $1,000 within, within 15, 20 minutes. And that was used to help to build some of the energy here. And you, you're up there in the mountains and it's just a beautiful view. So what you're looking at, this. This was one of the original bathrooms, and this is the new bathroom. This is all based on donations that, that our group and many other groups who have came here that we have also encouraged to come. They have put the money together, and that's where you get these buildings. And I've seen this place built from the ground up. And this is one of the newest part of, part of Trinity Home Academy. And that is the Elizabeth Woolly ICT Center. So this is what we want to get more of our children into. Yes, my sister, are you going to be doing a presentation? Oh, yes, please. Win for your gifty. Yeah. Gifty, are you coming with us? Please call him. So gifty is going to give us a nice presentation and talk about the ICT center. This was the ICT center. As you can see, it's not really much of computer technologies here. So uh, most of, um, as a matter of fact, everything that you see has been from donations from our group from 2007 to other groups that have come here. And so collectively, you know, we as a people from the diaspora have done well. And uh, for those who have those connections on certain things, I, as you can see, everything is needed here. And these are ancient machines. So the issue is that when we get donations, people give donations, send computers that was made 30 years ago. And it's like, if it doesn't work in America, it definitely is not going to work in Africa. So, <laughs> so uh, for those who are watching the video, family, uh, we encourage you, uh, for those who have those connections, you know, help us get some uh, new computers shipped over here. My good brother, Kwame Mabaka, is, uh, people send him donations and he'll take the donations and he bring them here. So he's, you know, we've been working on this together. Yes. And I appreciate you doing that because people will call me and say, yes, he took the donation and he brought it and he made sure that the school gets it. So thank you much and we'll see if we can get something shipped over. Because as, as time changes, uh, like, like example, Delta Airlines and other companies, uh, every few years they just get rid of computers that are real good that could be sent here. But we just got to work those connections. So for those who are listening, family, and for those who are here, reach out, connect, and let's make a difference. And uh, who's going to do the presentation? Get to you. Oh. Uh, oh. Everybody else wants you to do all the presentation. Oh, yeah, the big, black, strong man with the, the loud voice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are all welcome to Trinity Home Academy. Uh, I've been part of this home for the past 10 years, the past 10 years. And, uh, we just time goes so much. But been coming since 2007. I mean, yes. when, when it was the, the start exactly. down there. Now, when they were down there, I wasn't. But when I became full part of them, 
oh, about right. 10 years ago. Um, I've helped them in so many ways. And uh, it's just by the grace of God. Uh, I don't want to take the win out of anything, so I'd like to invite the caretaker of the place to introduce herself and then introduce uh, one or two people and you tell us what is here. Then we'll be able to ask questions. Then I'll also come in. So, Madam, wear your hands. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome once again. Thank yeah, you. My name is Grace Thompson, the third born to the founder, the late founder, uh, Mrs. Sophia Sari, and uh, Jay Alabi. Okay, we, we, the children after the death, have to like continue because we will say because she's dead, so the place has to be closed down. So that's how we came down to say, okay, let's continue where she's taught. And then I'm here with my siblings. I have Gifty and then a mom. Gifty. Yes. She, she, we are here together. And then this is my younger brother too, Marvin. So, and then we have the older ones too, but they are not here. So the three of us basically um, are here resident to take care of the children and the home and everything. Yes, as he rightly said, he's been here, like I told you the last time, it's almost 20 years now, next year. So she started in 2004, with oh, wow. 16 of them. Yes, but right now, from, with those from um, the community, we are almost 150, if not more, 150 of them. But not all of them stay in the home. So the majority come from the community, but we take care of all of them. Yes. So um, Sabeka here knows so much. I'll say so much because I met him. I wasn't here, so I met him here also. So he, he, I will hand it over to him, and then if there are other questions, I can come in to answer one or two questions. Perfect. Okay. But you're looking for new computers, right? <laughs> of course, yes. Yeah, these computers, like you said, they are old. Yeah. If God willing, we get um, the new generation computers. We'll be so glad. <laughs> yes. Thank you. So we can compete globally. <laughs> there you go. Back home. From her presentation, she made mention of children over here. Some of them lease or have parents. There are some kids who have parents, but they are more than, I don't want to use the word often, but they are more than people or less what? Less, <coughs> less privileged people. Or uh, they are parents, but their parents cannot help them, cannot provide sometimes even sneakers or shoes to go to school. So they found this place as a safe heaven. Why can't I take my child there for them to educate them? Education is free, but the teachers are, they have to pay them. The teachers are being paid. They have to take care of the teachers also. So when they bring them here, then they have to register them. Some of the kids have been also found somewhere in the marketplace. They catch them or they take them, send them to the police station, from the police station to the social welfare. From social welfare, then they bring them here. So over here when they come, whether you are one day old or uh, 10 years old, you will get a parent. They will give you a parent. So they are with the kids like, we are with our kids at home, so that the kids will not feel less privileged in any way. So they call them mama. When you, if they bring the kids, they give them father. They name them. Because as a, a three-year-old, two-year-old, six months old, what is your name? You can't tell you. So when they come, they baptize them, they give them a name, so that names be with them. When they grow, go through the school, they graduate, then they have to send them to the uh, 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 higher school, that is the uh, senior high or whatsoever. Senior high, they're supposed to pay fees. They have two of them right now at the senior high school. They have to pay them fees. Now, when they are going transportation in and out, they have needs. All these needs are provided by all of us over here, all those who have passed through this place. When we come to do donations, uh, some people would like to go beyond that. Some one, uh, Madam Amina, I will always mention her wherever I go. And she came here 
she found a young girl, she started crying. She called me and said, this is my daughter. I said, what happened? She said, I lost my daughter a year ago. And this is exactly my daughter, wow. like a twin sisters. So she said, I will adopt this place. Every month she had to send some money. Uh, then it, uh, it got to a time, he said, I will not be able to do it every month, but I will do it two months. Every two months I'll send some money, every two months. So she said, and then you receive it exactly to be able to take care of these kids. So as you are here, if you want to adapt any of them, you want to help any of them, you want to help the whole uh, uh, institution, please don't forget about my able teachers. And uh, most of them, we think about the kids and <laughs> you forget about the caretakers. Please, on um, dresses, shoes, whatever, do embrace it. So thank you so much. I'll end here, or I'll stop here, and if any of you have a question, then we'll be able to go through. At the end of it, we'll take you through the, you have a tour of the school, and then uh, we can also ask uh, some questions. So yes, please. What is the address to send money, like uh, Venmo or Cash App? Thank you. We have uh, Momo, we have, uh, I don't know, the way you want us. It's not us, but the way you want to send. If you want to send every month, we'll give you an address. To do that. If you want every two months, we'll give you an app. If you don't want that, you want to send a mobile, we can also give you a mobile number that you can send it to. Yeah, the, the, mo the mobile money is ideal uh, because you can send it to SendWave, you can send it to WISE, you can do World, World Remit, and all you need is the, the, their mobile uh, number. And uh, that's how we send some of the money and move money around. And it makes it a lot simpler. And then for those who want to do this bank transfer, like if you got like a, a million dollars you want to send, you're gonna, you, can, you can wire it. For those in. Thank you. I don't know about a million dollars for my. No, I mean, pe 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 people are watching the video, that's why. They're, they're okay. watching the video, so. Okay, because I was just, like, in, in general. One day. You never know, who, you never, you never know who see these things, so we're telling people, hey, it's all good. But some people, is, some people, that's a write off for them. Wow. But money is a profit, so it will come to pass. <laughs> okay, I mean, really, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yes, ma'am, you, you wanted to say something. I was just going to say, do you have sale? Sale? Zelle, yes, okay. yes, we have. No, Zelle Pay. Oh, no, no. Zelle Pay is only a US-based system. It's US-based, but we have Same thing Zell. as Cash App. That's why we talk about mobile money. Yeah. So that'll be the similarity, and I can get everyone to understand how to use the mobile money to wise world remit or send wave. Yeah. Okay. In Ghana, we have Zip, and Zip is also a mobile money transfer. Yeah. Any more questions? Well, I, I, I appreciate the sending money, but do you normally collect money? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, we're going to collect donate. some donations in a little bit. Yes, yeah. And I, I, I would just like to, to challenge everybody to say, you know, we're going to shop yeah. till we drop. Yeah. Probably, Hopefully not drop. We just, I always think in terms of whatever I'm doing, can I leave whatever I'm taking? Yeah. Can I leave a portion of that where yeah. I am? Yeah. And so that's that's, that's very just important. Just wanted to just think about that. We're, we're, we're doing a lot. We have we're here. We're helping. So whatever it is we can do, I don't believe um, something <coughs> pleases me. If you look in those faces, I look in those faces. I know. Like, oh, yeah. And uh, it's so that's all. I like I just believe in making the ask, and I'm right. Well, perfect. So uh, once we get back there, you know, we'll have a bucket out. We'll collect some donations for those who want to make some donations. And anything is appreciated. A couple more questions for you. Yeah. Yeah, can you share a little bit about the day, how, how a student, they come, and what classes they take, and then could you share with us your immediate need right now? Of course, our immediate need ranges from the basic needs, the, the least need you can ever think of, like the food, of course. You can't go a day without food. You can't go a day without food. Food, food, food. And then after the food is being satisfied, then you think of what to wear. So your, your, the dresses. So we take even the fairly used ones, of course, just to cover them up. 
to make sure their bodies are covered. And then from day-to-day -day activities, they go to school when, during the school hours, Mondays to Fridays, they go to school, then we close by 3 p.m. Then from 3 p.m., of course, they have time for leisure, they play around, do their homeworks. If there are some chores to be done, of course, they do. And then there, there are times too, they have to do their homeworks to rest till the next day too. It's a routine. That's what we do every day. Of course, weekends, they rest, wash their clothes. They do their washing with themselves. So we teach them, we guide them how to do their washing. And then on Sundays, they go to church. And then we start all over again. That's it. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I, I missed the first part when you were talking about yourself. Yeah. So you have literally, I'm going to say, put your life on hold to be here. Yeah. All of them are doing that, yeah. Not even a life of business and everything. Family. Throw it down there. Let me come and take care of God's children first before God will take care of me. Yeah. Now, in addition to what she said, she, because of my association with them, uh, I know in and out of everything, they have a bohu. It was through someone that we brought here that the person had. There is a saying that if you fish always for someone, the person will keep on coming for you to fish for. Why don't you teach this person how to fish? So that if you don't come, the person will be all right. Sure. Now, this borehole can be turned into a, 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 a venture that can give them some money to sustain them. What we do, we need to buy, for them to get osmosis machine. And this osmosis machine will purify the water. Then they can make a saturated water, sell it to the community. And when they sell, they have some money to keep. In fact, uh, sometimes it saddens my heart that uh, uh, the, the founder of this place gave me a name, and the name was so funny, but it's God doing. He called me a good angel. Why is it that? There was a time, there was no food for these kids. There was no food for these kids. I spoke to a friend, and then the friend said, you know what, I don't have much, but I can send you $200. I said, okay. Immediately the money arrived in my uh, uh, mobile money account. I just called her. That time she was also on her knee, praying to God that Father bring someone to help us to feed these kids. I just took my phone, asked her, she is there, this lady. <laughs> and then I called her, I said, Mom, you know what? You know I came there with a friend, this and this. He has sent me $200. I'm sending it to you now. The woman was like, wow, is that how God works? Yeah. She was so happy. And then she called me a good angel, Bofupa, a good angel. So any time that I call her, she know that, there is something coming. <laughs> so if we can help um, to get them the osmosis machine for them to purify the water, for the kids to drink, right now they buy a sachet water. But if they are producing it themselves, they will be able to feed these kids, have some money down for any eventuality. If these kids are sick, you have to go to hospital. They pay it. The electricity, they pay for it. Government will not give it to them free. All this has been done through the uh, help of philanthropists like you, or good people like you who come see So let's think about it, and then pray about it, and I know uh, our creator and ancestors who brought us here who give us direction to help in that way. Thank you so much. So, adding to that, Right now, presently, they all sleep in one room. Yes, they all sleep in one room, but the, the older ones, the boys, we have to separate a classroom for them to sleep in. Of course, they are teenagers. We can't mix them up with the other ones. So we were, my, our late mother was preparing a place there. Yeah. yeah, two rooms, but it's uncompleted. So we hope we could, if we, we get the help to do that, we we'll be able to do, to fix it, to complete it. So, they can have separate rooms. Yes. Excellent. Thank you.